Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another vlog. <laughs> it's kind of going to be just a spend a Sunday with me. Um, it is Sunday. It's not raining for the first time in a while. So I'm just out for my walk. Um, and yeah, we'll see what we get up to today. Probably do, obviously, some meal prep for the week. Um, do some stretching when I get home. And yeah, just see where the Sunday takes me. I just thought yeah, I would take you guys along and see what we usually get up to on a Sunday. Obviously, um, we're not really doing like grocery shopping anymore. We do most of it online just to be a bit safer during COVID. Um, and it just kind of saves us time to do other things. Um, that's a bit more like important or stuff I need to get done like my studying or my client plans so it kind of just um, carves out a bit of a <clears throat> time where I can actually get that done instead of spending time in the shop so yeah I'm excited to take you guys along and see what we get up to <music>
making a green smoothie this morning. It's not too green, so anybody would be able to have it, but I just feel like I kind of need it because my stomach has just not been the best. Um, past two days, I don't know, I've been like weird cramping. So I thought, let me make something that's a little bit easy on the stomach instead of having like my wheat picks and all of that stuff so i got all my ingredients so i've got spinach some lemon frozen banana frozen blueberries some almond milk which i'll also top up with water so it's not like all almond milk and then a whey protein so let's go so annoyed my tripod just broke again the tip of it so like it's in the bottom of the camera it's just broke cool. so Daniel's gonna have to try and get it out again supplies <sighs> now then gotta find another new tripod great but anyways um I've just had a bath and now I need to pack all our washing away that I took to my parents yesterday to go and sit in the tumble dryer because this rain has just been ridiculous. Like, I'm just pop you there. Completely and utterly ridiculous. That needs to be on. Uh, this does not need to be on. But we've had like clothes sitting in our dining room trying to get dry for like the last week, literally. So, finally, majority of it is dry, and I'm going to pack it away, but I'm going to do it on speed. <laughs> Do much except 
cut the tortillas for nachos tonight. Because I can cook my chicken. Done. Frustrating. Oh, um, I boiled the kettle luckily before electricity went on but um i made some sugar-free jelly which is like a snack that we have when we're feeling like something really sweet um yeah it's literally like nothing in it almost it's calories is 2.5 calories per 100 moles which is like nothing but it's higher it's a little bit higher in vitamin c which is good very low in carbs so yeah it's an unlimited food for a low calorie diet um so it's really nice and it's halal. So these are the ones we use, the Simply Delish Zero. And it's got the Run and Walk for Life logo on, which is all about healthy, sustainable living. So yeah, just thought I would share that with you guys. I'm now gonna cut some um, tortilla wraps. Oh, I didn't even see it so dark, there we go. Tortilla wraps up into nacho style things and I'll have to cook them later. So opted now for plan B to use the huge frying pan thing because I don't know why but our stove keeps tripping the electricity. So I'm now doing the chicken prep um, for the week, well for about like three-ish days more or less and then I'm also just going to some broccoli to go with the meals um, and then yeah tonight we're just gonna have homemade nachos which we've already prepped that and then we're just gonna put some baby sweet peppers in some avo um, and then also just like a we're gonna have chicken with it with some like chipotle sauce and then I got some cheddar and um, mozzarella, the medium fat. I'm gonna just kind of combine them. So yeah, that is the plan on food. I'm not actually sure I'm having lunch yet, but I'm waiting for Danny North to bring me coffee <laughs> so that I can start my work. <laughs> so we'll see. I also need to dry my hair. Okay, so we just finished doing some filming um, for other videos. We don't do this like every Sunday, but this Sunday we did. I had a lot of filming that I wanted to get done. So just going to move this back. I still can't believe my tripod broke again. <sighs> so annoying. No sushi, don't fight this. Sushi. Um, but yeah, now I'm just going to go and get dressed, I think, into my PJs. I haven't had a lot of water today, actually, which is bad. I just had carrot cake my mum had. And it was pretty good. Um, I'll actually show you guys some new products that I'm trying out, facial stuff. Um, so, you know I love Eucerin, that's what I've been using for a very long time because it just responds, well my skin responds well. But I've started using a Hyaluron Filler Eye Cream from Eucerin. Um, and also a Hyaluron Filler Moisture Booster Serum that I've started using. Um, anything else that I've got here? You guys saw I've got like the micellar water that I've been using as well and then obviously the night and day cream which you've seen which I've been using for a long time it's the Q10 active day night cream active night cream sorry and then the Q10 active day cream I think that's all that I've yeah those are the new things that I've been using which I find have been really helping which is good um my skin I find is a lot better except for like my breakouts on my chin which is I think obviously from wearing the mask all the time which is very frustrating um but what can we do so this is it currently I do have makeup on but I can feel like my under eyes are a lot um better I don't feel as dry like I used to get very dry under eyes 
where now they're not i feel like there's a lot more moisture now that i've been using the cream day and night so that's been something nice um i do want to get myself one of those dermal rollers um just to increase like blood flow and all of that but y'all let's get change into my pjs i'm just going to change my pants and then we'll just go downstairs and do some more um meal prep to get ready for the week and yeah let's go okay so because oh sorry it's a bit dark because i don't have my tripod it's gonna be a bit difficult for me to like show you guys how i do prep and whatnot but you saw me make the chicken earlier so i'm gonna do chicken and then i'm gonna chop up some green beans for dinner i mean for lunch tomorrow i think because I want to have a broccoli for tomorrow's dinner. So we've got these green beans that I'm just going to chop off the ends and then put in the steamer, which is going to be this. So Daniel and I will both have our lunch tomorrow with some chicken. And then one of the snacks is going to be 50 grams of biltong. Um, yeah, 50 grams of biltong. And then I'm also going to have a serving of yogurt um, with some blueberries. Um, and then I think I might work in some cottage cheese. Sorry, it's cottage cheese in with some corn cakes. Otherwise, if not, it will just be the yogurt, blueberries, and a few almonds. And then perhaps a protein shake. Um, but we'll see. So that's basically going to be the food prep that I'll do. I'll always just cook the food, like the actual meals, like your lunch. Um, make that that's already in the fridge. And then snacks are just easy to pack the night before we just work it out. Um, we also quite enjoy these. The Jungle Oats uh, Protein Bar. They are really high in calories, actually. For the size. Well, I feel like anyway. They're 244 calories a bar. And then these cocoa and almond um, protein balls. They're not that high in calories. Protein 7.8. Mm. Got quite a bit of sugar in though. But like these little snacky things we have sometimes. It all depends though if it fits into our macros for the day. Which is what we do. So yeah. That's pretty much it. Um... And I'm also going to show you guys like a progress on my puzzle. I finished the top, but I'm missing a piece over there. I don't know where I've put it and I've just got to do like the bottom. I know it's taken me so long, but hoping to finish it this week if I get a chance. Um, and then, yeah. So that's basically going to be it. I'm going to close out this vlog here. So this is like a typical Sunday with us. It's just basically getting ready for the week. Um, but like I said, we don't do much of our shopping, like grocery shopping anymore. We do most of it online just because it's easier and safer during COVID. Um, so that saves us a bit of time. Like on a Sunday, we can do other things like I did like my work and I did an exam today. And yeah. That's pretty much it. This weather sucks, otherwise we would have done a lot more washing. I've got towels that need to be washed, but can't wash them. Also, <laughs> I cut my hair yesterday by myself. Not the best idea. Don't do that. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, that's pretty much our Sundays. Um, so now I'm just going to, like I said, just basically prep the last few things. Just put the veg on, sort it into containers, go in the fridge, and do our snacks. And then get started with dinner, which I've got to um, obviously roast these little tortillas in the oven to get nice and crisp. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this little Sunday with me. And I will see you next time. Please don't forget to subscribe.